Hey everyone watching, I'm Pal Phenom, and today we're back with the Yurf Dog Go-Kart. And today, we're going to be putting the new rear end in. So, as you can see, the rear end is actually already out of here. That's because off camera, it was just a pain to take out. I thought it would be like a fun video of uh, like, including me taking it out in the first video. But um, it, the video just got like way too long, and so I just decided to not even include it, and I just pulled it out anyway so it's all out that rear end by the way was completely junk the bearings were junk all of that like the, the bearings everything was essentially rust welded because um, it's been sitting for a long time so some it's like the bearings i literally had to cut out um because they were so stuck but it's all out the whole axle's out but um I have a brand new axle. I went ahead and bought a brand new axle and I'm going to show that now, but I have a different way on how I'm going to mount this axle and uh, I'm going to show you that now. So this is the rear end out of the um, go-kart mower um, that I scrapped the old build. Um, I'm going to strip this completely down and I'm going to reuse it on the brand new axle I bought. That's a little bit longer than this one. I was going to use this axle originally, but uh, I did some measuring and I felt the rear wheel base was just a little bit too short for me. So I went ahead and just ordered a brand new axle from BMI Carts that I, I already got. I just haven't pulled it out of the box yet. But um, yeah, so I'm going to also reuse this mounting setup. As you can see here, I'm going to drill holes into the frame, into those little uh, pillow block mounts or whatever they are, and bolt up the Ozeo bracket so that way I won't have to make any modifications to these. Are like these these pillow blocks are already brand new they probably have like everything on here has less than probably 12 hours of riding i like when i finished the go-kart mower i actually never really rode it much surprisingly because of like just on how unstable it was and like the steering and stuff i wanted to tear it down and redo it but <laughs> it is what it is um so yeah i'm gonna get the new axle i'm gonna mark where i need to well first off i need to strip that down and uh, I'm going to take the old brackets off and just see where I can mark up everything on this. And um, yeah, not only that, I'm going to see if I can bolt it lower. That way I can get like a little bit more ride height uh, off the rear tires. So yeah, so there's the new axle. That's the old axle. You can just see how much longer uh, this. I, I'll just kind of have it resting in there right now. It's not actually bolted, but uh, you can see how much longer and wider the uh, wheelbase will be now. Uh, I feel this will, this will definitely help like with stability and cornering and all that stuff. It'll just make it 10 times better to ride. Um, definitely a good investment, I think. Um, this is a one inch axle just like this and the original axle was a one inch too. So everything essentially should just work. Um, the only thing I do got to do is just the brake. I have to modify this brake link. Um, I think I decided I'm going to go with hydraulic brakes actually for the uh, brake assembly because like I said, I'm thinking about it. This is going to have this go-kart hauling ass essentially. So I'm probably going to cut. I saw a video of someone putting hydraulic brakes in the Europe dog like this. They cut this link, bent it, and then they had the master cylinder sitting here. And then from there, they just ran the brake line back to the uh, caliper on the uh, rotor and all that. And uh, the thing was just, it was perfect. So I think I'm gonna follow that video probably step by step and just replicate that, uh, what they did. Um, if I'll leave a link in the description. I forget the channel name. I believe it's a uh, Red Beard Garage. I think he did a video on it a while back. Like it's an old video, but I'm probably gonna be following his steps on this build on uh, the brake assembly. But anyway, I'm gonna disassemble that axle and uh, just start lining stuff up and see what I gotta do. Okay, so it's a while later and uh, I got the first bracket mounted up. So essentially what I did, I did it just how I did um, the racing mower, drilled two holes and then mounted it to this. Now, um, I was, the reason why the welder's here, I was contemplating back and forth, should I weld it or not? And uh, I think I just decided that bolting it would just be easier. And especially because how thick this metal is and I wouldn't, I'm, I'm not saying my welds are like terrible, but I wouldn't really trust them holding on a, like a whole suspension piece. Uh, so I just bolted it. I'm about to do the other side now. And how I'm doing this side is essentially I take the jack right here 
and I just line it up with where I want it. And then, so it's sitting about equal, uh, just about with eye level and making sure it's straight and all that. Uh, just looking straight and then up like that. Uh, so this is right now all lined up. So I'm going to drill the two holes and uh, bolt that in and then the, the axle mount should be done. Now, the only thing I'm unfortunately probably not going to have is a middle pillow block mount. Unless I take a piece of flat bar, which I have sitting right there and um, weld it and then like mount a third pillow block, which would not only help with like stability of uh, the uh, rear axle, but um, it just help keep things stronger. But it's not optional. I've seen more than enough off-road carts with just two pillow blocks uh, that do the job. I'm not doing any heavy off-roading with it either. Like I'm not jumping it or anything like that. Well, I have, but I probably won't be anymore, especially with this setup, unless uh, I try and like reinforce this. Because honestly, I wouldn't really trust jumping this with just like some L brackets and some bolts. But anyway, I'm going to drill these, uh, line this up just to make sure it's 100% flush, and then bolt it in, and we should be good. Okay, a while later, and the rear axle is in. It's like completely solid. These L brackets are just, I used the impact gun to tighten these bolts down, and I've essentially just maxed these things out. Um, yeah, I, I think this whole thing will be fine. I was doing a little bit of research, and uh, I was looking at some uh, dirt track go-karts, like the ones that race on uh, dirt ovals and stuff. And uh, a lot of them actually only use um, two bearings, like on each side, like one there and then one there. Uh, and they go, some of them go like 80, 90 miles an hour. I've seen them do like 60 on dirt. So it's pretty crazy. Uh, and the, deck, the whole rear end holds up just fine, apparently, with just two bearings. So I should be fine. I, this thing probably won't be seeing over 50 miles an hour, depending on the gearing. I don't know. And depending on how fast I want to go. Um, but 35 miles an hour on this is, is pretty fast already. I couldn't imagine doing 50 or anything above that. That, that, that would just be like extremely scary, but fun. Um, anyway, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to slide, uh, one of the ends out. I'm not going to put on any of the accessories because one, like this, I have no chain for the sprocket and the torque converter, um, the, the clutch won't be able to move this cause it's too heavy. I'm not going to put on the brake rotor because I have no brakes uh, yet and I'm getting a I'm getting a um, hydraulic caliper uh, soon um, but anyway I'm gonna slide this end out I'm gonna put on some locking collars and then I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna get uh, the brand new lawnmower tires I'm gonna jack the rear end up and uh, I'm gonna first I'm gonna I need to tighten down these first because this axle is just able to slide freely so I need to tighten down the set screws on the uh, on um, the pillow block bearings and then um, I'll put uh, pillow ball pairings on each end and I'll go outside and get the tires and uh, put those on because I don't want to have to push this thing outside uh, like this. I, I had it sitting in my driveway just like this, like on jack stands for like a week. And that was just not fun uh, to like move it places. So hopefully tonight uh, I'll roll it outside and uh, it should be good from there. So guys, dude, the ride height is insane now like whoa it is 10 times taller than what it was before now i, I it, and i'm not even exaggerating like it is probably 10 times higher than what it was before with the old setup it, it, it it's crazy this thing's probably going to be doing wheelies uh with with this like height setup right now and, the, and these are like the, the these are the brand new lawnmower tires See, like, I barely even use them. They still have the hairs on them. But uh, these are the brand new tires. And the off-road tires that came with this that are uh, pretty junked, they're even bigger. So <laughs> you could have just imagined the height on how tall this thing really is. But, um, yeah, it's, 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 it's amazing. And now I, this thing's definitely for sure not going to be getting stuck on anything or getting caught on anything. And uh, hopefully it'll fix the whole, like... Uh, me getting like drowned in water because uh, whenever I would off-road this and go through any puddle there would just water would just fill up the cab and just get everywhere like the seat would actually get filled to the brim with like water and uh, that, that's not fun um, so yeah but th th I think this this will make off-roading it 10 times better uh, and also the, the wheel stance is just 10 times wider too uh so uh, nothing's on there right now 
I do have to take the axle back out, slide it back out. Not the mounts, the mounts can stay. I just have to slide the axle back out when it's time to start putting in the brakes and all and the sprocket and all that stuff. And I don't think I'm gonna put this sprocket in now that I see this ride height because uh, essentially I, I want something that can be like kind of in the middle of torque and top speed. Uh, essentially with this sprocket and this setup right here, it's just essentially all low end torque. It'd essentially be like making a funny car uh, out of a go-kart, which is essentially what I've done right now is made a funny car. Like look at the ride height. I'll throw up a picture of it with the stock ride height. Yeah, that was it with the stock ride height. And you can just, you could clearly see just how much, how much taller this really is. So I'm thinking bigger tires on the front too. Bigger tires on the front would uh, definitely help. And I'm thinking about getting bigger tires on the rear too, because I feel those aren't big enough still. I want it to be a little bit taller, but Anyway, I'm com I'm completely fine with this ride high right now. So next video, um, we're going to be putting on the gas tank, putting on the battery, and starting to build the dashboard. Uh, because next video, I want to get this motor running. So that way, when it's running, I can get ready to buy the torque converter. And uh, I'll figure out a sprocket size I want to run. Because that's a 60 tooth and I'm sure definitely not running that. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Next video, we will be installing the battery, the um, fuel tank, uh, fuel cell. Sorry, I've, well, I've been outside like all, I've been in the garage like all night. Uh, it's probably like one in the morning right now. So I'm a little bit sniffly, um, but I'm fine. Uh, yeah, fuel tank, battery. Uh, starting to build the dashboard. We're not going to like complete the dash, but I'm going to begin to build the dash and make it like at least kind of functional. So I'll wire up the ignition. And uh, if I'll, I'm still deciding whether or not I want a draining fuel tank or a, a pump driven fuel tank with like a fuel pump and stuff. But I really want to see if I can make a drain fuel tank so I can just, so I don't have to wire up a fuel pump and all that. You just make life easier and uh, make it more practical for like long ridings and stuff. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.